السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله حبيب وخليله أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذ ابتلى إبراهيم ربه بكلمات فأتمهم قال إني جاعلك للناس إماما قال ومن ذريتي قال لا ينال عهد الظالمين قال الله عز وجل يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون قال الله عز وجل يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سليدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما In the name of Allah the most gracious and most merciful all praise is due to Allah the cherisher and the sustain of the world May choices, salutations and blessings be upon mine and your universal Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I bear witness that there is none worthy or worthy beside Allah. He is alone and has no partners. I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his servant and his messenger. Today is the first of the Hajj. It is a season of virtues which will last the first 10 days of the Hajj. A righteous actions are more dearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the first 10 days of the Hajj than any other days. 
that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said one Ibn Abbas قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما من أيام العمل الصالح فيهن أحب إلى الله من هذه الأيام العاش قالوا يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله قال ولا جهاد في سبيل الله إلا رجل خرج بنفسه وماله فلم يرجع من ذلك بشيء أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام رواه البخاري بإسناد صحيح هذا ابن عباس رضي الله عنه رفوده the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there are no any other good actions more dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the first ashara of the Hajj the good actions and the good amal are performed in first 10 days of the Hajj are more dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's what's called the season of virtues. The Sul Salaam was asked, Ya Surullah Sallallahu Sallam, Wala jihad fi sabirillah? Not even jihad and the striving in the cause of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? The Surullah Sallallahu Sallam replied, Not even jihad and striving in the cause of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, unless a person goes out with his wealth and his life and never returns with any of this. May he sacrifice all his wealth. And even he sacrificed his life. He is superior. Other than this, Afdul Amal, uh, righteous actions are more dear to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala accept all our Amals and this is, you know, a, a, a command for us and this motivations for us that to increase our Amal in the first 10 days of the Hajj with a fasting, or charity, or, or uh, recitation of Qur'an, or, or tasbihat or tahlilat, and along with helping people, giving smile, doing something which is helpful to other people, be beneficial. This is all good amal. And hujjad from all over the world, they are making their way to perform hajj. Some of them, they are already there. And some of them, they are still on their way. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their hajj and bless them with the hajj and mabroor and return them back safely to their families. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us also with of Haram and Shri Fain. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to perform hajj, one of the pillars of Islam and obligation upon us. My respect brothers and sisters in Islam, Hajj is related to Sayyidina Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. And another great action is performed by Sayyidina Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, which is commemorated, which is celebrated on the 10th of the Hajj, which is called sacrifice. Again, it is related to Sayyidina Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. When Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was asked to raise the foundation of Kaaba, after constructing of Kaaba, he was asked, Wa adbim fin nas bil hajj. Now, go on the mount Abu Qubayz and announce for hajj. And Sayyidina Ibrahim al Sadhu Wasallam asked, Ya Allah, who do to listen to me? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Your duty is to announce. I will convey your announcement even to the Alim Arabah. And who will, rep- who will reply, who will respond with the Labbaik? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him as many as time he said Labbaik. And this Hajj goes back to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. And all the actions that are performed, the rituals are performed during Hajj is related to Sayyidina Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam and Hazrat Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam and Hazrat Hajra. And a Qurbani again, a sacrifice, the Rasul sallam was asked, Ma hadihi al-adahi ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam replied, Sunnata Abikum Ibrahim. This is a tradition and the sunnah of your father, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam role model for all nations. And Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam will remain a role model to the day of judgment. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمٌ 
Indeed, in the life of Sayyidina Ibrahim Islam, you have best example to follow. There are only two personalities which are mentioned in the Quran make a role model for you. One is Sayyidina Ibrahim Islam, and Laqad Kana Lakum Fi Rasulillahi Uswatun Hasana. Indeed, in the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you have best example to follow. These two role models for us. When we talk about Sayyidina Ibrahim Islam, he is a role model and he left a great legacy. And Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, his entire life is full of challenges and the tests and the trials. As I have that I have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذِي بَتَنَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُمْ And remember when his Lord tried him with certain commands, which he fulfilled them all. Then after fulfilling all his commandments, all the tests and the trials, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, now we're going to make him, make you as an imam. وَإِذِي بَتَلَا إِبْرَاهِمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُمْ قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا I am going to make you as a leader for all mankind. And Sayyidina Ibrahim said, Women of the what about my offspring? Allah says, My covenant will not include those who are Zalimun. Only to those who are obedient. Only to those who are following the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the rebellion, not the Zalimun. So Sayyidina Ibrahim wasalam, has become a role model for us. As we all know that, how he suffered. His entire life is full of challenges, full of tests and trials. While he was a teenager, a teenager, I could see that many teenagers are here. Sayyidina Ibrahim wasalam, when he observed that people are indulging in evil and the misconceptions, he got up again, but these things that doesn't make sense. People are worshipping sun, moon and stars and idols. This doesn't make sense. Because whoever disappears, because sun, moon and stars, they disappear. Someone who disappears cannot exist, cannot be our creator. I turn to my face towards the creator of the heavens and the earth, who originated heavens and the earth. This cannot be your Lord. And he got up against oppression and suppression. With logical and the rational arguments. And he got up against the tyrant king. With the rational and the logical arguments. When the Nabu said, I am the one who can bring the sun from the east. But I can, I can bring it. Like a person said, I can cause the light in the dark. Because Allah, Sayyidina Ibrahim said, My Rabbi is the one who, who gives light and death. And Allah said, I can do that. I can bring a person that who was supposed to be killed and let him free. The one who was supposed to be freed, let him kill. He said, okay, if you can do that, how about my Rabb brings sun from the east, bring it from the west. Probably with Allah is the He was, he became speechless. When you saw that people are worshipping idols and he had a rational argument, he said, what kind of people are you? Why are you worshipping them? Including his father. He used to manifest the idols. As according to Hazrat Imam Mujahid, Hazrat Imam Qadada, or some other Salaf Salihin, they have mentioned that based on different opinions, that his uncle who raised him as a father, he used to manifest the idols. So that is called Ya Abati, Ya Abati. Ab is for both, for, you know, for father and for uncle. So anyway, based on his opinion, his own father, he was manifesting idols. And Sayyidina Ibrahim Wasallam said, Ufillakum, go to you. They are not benefiting you, they are not harming you. And Sayyidina Ibrahim Wasallam, he took a serious action. And it Hadith that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when you see any evil, when you see any evil, Try to start with your hands. For illam yesterday, for the lisani. At least speak out. Speak out. For illam yesterday, for the qalbi. As adhaqul iman. But if you cannot speak out, then at least feel it. As adhaqul iman, the weakest of iman. But Sayyidina Ibrahim al-Sadhu iman level was very high. It was so high. 
And he went to the temple, he damaged all the idols. And we know the story. Then he said, when they returned back, he said, you know what happened? He said, after we just watched. Maybe he have done it. But they cannot, he cannot, he cannot speak, he cannot speak, he cannot harm. So why you people are worshipping this? Then they came together. He said, if you would like to preserve your idols, your gods, burn him. Burn him. And a huge fire was prepared for him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala altered the laws of physics. In Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power over all things. Allah has power over all things. And the fire nature is to burn. But Sayyidina Ibrahim was thrown into a huge fire of Namuz. People they have prepared for the, for the days when it became very strong. Now they were expecting it's going to be burnt. It's going to be hurt. We said to the fire, be cool and safety for Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Subhanallah, he was ready to sacrifice his life. And he was against oppression and suppression. He got up against evil and misconceptions. Although his life was at risk, but never stayed back. That's his legacy. Then again he was commanded. Now you immigrate from your hometown where you were raised and born. Out from there. He immigrated. Migrated. He left his hometown. Then again he keep on asking. Rabbi habli min al-salihin. Rabbi habli min al-salihin. He keep on asking for the righteous son. For his entire life. And finally his dua was answered. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Now is the time. There's another challenge, a test for you. Palamma, you know, when he was blessed with the righteous son, Hazrat Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam, when he was able to work with him, Palamma balaga ma'a sa'ya, qala ya bunayya inni ara fil manam, anni azbahuka fan zul mada tara. Qala ya abba tifa'al, ma tu'manu khatajiduni insha Allahu min ashabiri. Palamma aslama wa tallahu lizjabid. Subhanallah. When his son was able to work with him, only the son, very beloved to him, very beloved to him. And when he had a dream, and he consulted, he asked opinion from his son. Oh my son, I have a dream, I am slaughtering you, I am sacrificing you, I am cutting your throat. What's your opinion? What's your opinion? Pantumaratara. Subhanallah. Look at the legacy of Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam. Ya Abba Tifa'al ma tu'mur. Satajiduni insha'allahu min aswabirin. Oh my father, do it whatever you have been commanded. You will find me the patience. And they were not just talking. Falama aslama wa tallahu lil-jabeen. And he actually, he did it. They were not just talking. But he implemented it. And when he was trying and even before that, when the shaitan obstructed, and Sayyidina Ibrahim was pelted the shaitan, and this became a legacy, this became a tradition, this became a sunnah of Ibrahim was some millions of people around the world, whenever they perform Hajj, became part of Hajj. They are going to pelt shaitan, although we don't see the shaitan there. But Sayyidina Ibrahim was actions were loved so much, that whenever shaitan obstructs you, he is creating disturbance, reverse for you, that we have to do something. If we are not faulting, say, A'udhu Billahi Wa Shaitan Wa Carry on your good work. Carry on good amal. Sayyidina Ibrahim was some God ready. Now the thing that we have to learn from here, that a point that I'm going to share with you, Mashallah, I could see many children. They are getting ready to go back to school. They have a long break. And majority of us, we are immigrants. We migrated from subcontinent or from Middle East, from other parts of the world. And our intention is to make our life better and make our children's life better. That's our intention. But the greatest challenge that we are facing today, maybe some of us, Alhamdulillah, we think and we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the children are on the right track. But what happens when we like to preserve our culture and our deen, but children are not in our hands? That's a challenge. 
And when we migrated here, that is not by force. Willingly we are here. But the question comes, when the children, when they grow up, when they grow up, and now they start arguing with the parents. Start arguing. And we know that the parents, they are trying their best, and they would like to see their children to be successful. They would like to see the children that are achieving the, the thing that they have missed. But in order to do that, so the children are asking back. They are arguing. And when the time comes, they reply, who cares? They have to learn the legacy of Sayyidina Ismail Father was ready to sacrifice his son. And he was trying. He was striving. He was not just saying, but he was actualizing, implementing. And Ismail alayhi salatu waslam, he was saying, Father, do it. I'm submitting. I'm okay. I'm fine. Is there anyone, any child, who has this kind of obedience? He has said, 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 Who taught him this being obedient? Who taught him this respect? And unfortunately, respect is missing. Adab is missing. Sometimes we give this example. On one hand, there are our children. Those are genius, extraordinary. They are always getting A+, grades are high, excellent. But at the same time, they are disrespectful to the parents. They are disrespectful to the elders. They don't care. But on the other hand, children are average. Maybe they are not that super duper genius. Maybe they are, their grades are just average grade. But they are respectful. They are very respectful. They know the values that how we have to behave with our parents and elders. Guess what? We ask them, the children, who is better? First or second? Of course, second. The one who is respectful, who is taking care of the parents, those who are obedient to the parents, they are the ones who are genius, actual genius. But those are the genius, they call themselves the genius or the smart, but with no respect equal to zero. They are achieving anything in their life, then who cares? It's for them. It's for them, but if they are not respectful, but we are asking to be both. Both. Be smart, be good, but at the same time, be respectful. This is very important. And from there we are, although we know the stories, there is nothing new, that we are sharing something new, but this is a reminder for us. Time to time we remind for us. Sayyidina Ibrahim a.s. he submitted. He was commanded to immigrate, he submitted. He was commanded to um, sacrifice his son, submitted. He got ready to be sacrificed, he got ready to burn for himself, he is ready to like to jump into the fire, he submitted. We need tawakkal now. Our tawakkal is weak. We don't wait for the time. We are also facing challenges in our life. Individual, we are facing challenges whether housewise or economically, you know, that we have no jobs, uh, we are suffering, we have family issues, we have relative issues, we have that issue, this issue. We have many, many things in our life. But we become restless. We have no patience, we have no sabr. We would like to see the result immediately, right away. Instant reward. Instant reward, you know, the results. If we, if we expect that one, maybe we cannot get it. And we start complaining. We start complaining. So the thing is that, wait for the time. Do the right things. If we do right things, wait for the time, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's promise will be with us. The time will come, you will overcome these all challenges and problems. I never think that sometimes, you know, we are human beings. Do you think that someone is uh, living a prosperous life, is a happy life, he has no problem in his life, mashallah, he is well to do, financially he is calm, physically he is okay, he is good, everything is perfectly fine, maybe he is what Allah? This is our conception. It doesn't necessarily have to be. And on the other hand, we see the people are suffering. 
they have financial problems they have health issues they have family issues many things but they are trying their best to be on the right track and we think maybe they are humiliated they are punished is not necessary we have to do our things and live it on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala carry on to the right things the right things that you have that are supposed to do then have a tawakkul on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the legacy of sayyidina ibrahim alayhi salatu wasallam that we learn he was stuck up at the end and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him a leader a, a role model and if we would like to become a role model maybe not for everyone at least for our children at least for our family members we have to follow his legacy and that the children if they would like to take a lesson from sayyidina ismail alayhi salatu wasallam be respectful be respectful without other everything is zero with the other you are somebody you are somebody then we will be happy alhamdulillah we made a right decision to be here we made a right decision that to leave our hometown our family members our parents our siblings and we immigrated we migrated here for that purpose and alhamdulillah but when we see that we are okay but our children are in our hands it hurts did it hurts try to work with you know with one another we have to cooperate with one another if you see you know if i could be helpful with any other family members with other children if you see they are not in their hands so we should try our best to help them to cooperate and learn the legacy of sayyidina hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam and sayyidina hazrat ismail alayhi salatu wasalam allah taala has made him role model may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to follow the footsteps and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept those all those who are performing the hajj may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them all those who are preparing for the sacrifice and the fasa ashara of the hajj may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to increase our amal aqul qawli hada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'il mu'minin wal mu'minat innahu huwal ghafurur rahim الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله حبيبه وخليله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد بعدل من صلى وصام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد بعدل من قاد وقام وصل على جميع الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل ملائكتك المقربين وعلى عباد الله الصالحين ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم اللهم ايد الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر من نصر الى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واجعلنا منهم اللهم اخذل من خضر الى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجعلنا منهم اللهم ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار اذكروا الله يذكركم ولو يستجيب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى الا بولا وعز وجل وتم وهم وادم واكبر اقم الصلاه الله اكبر الله اكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاه حي على الفلاح قد قام في الصلاه قد قام في الصلاه الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله